Charlie from Twilio, and I'm going to show you some of the powerful ways you can integrate SMS messaging into communication workflows using Twilio for Salesforce. Twilio for Salesforce is the easiest way to integrate text messaging into Salesforce, personalize communications with the data you track, and report on results. In this demo, I'm going to play the role of a hypothetical employee at the San Francisco SPCA who's seeking to engage community members about cat adoption. To start messaging with a contact or lead with Twilio for Salesforce, the first thing we need to do is add the conversational one-to-one -one messaging component to the contact or lead record. And we can do that by clicking into an individual contact or lead. Up here in the top right corner, we can click on the setup menu and then click on edit page. This will bring us to the lightning app builder. And if we scroll down in the left hand sidebar, we'll see our managed package components down here. Note, if they don't appear, you probably need to enable my domain for your organization. We can click and drag Twilio two-way messages anywhere onto the canvas. So for example, we could put it as a two-thirds width component up here, put it under our details tab or under our news tab. In this case, I'll just drag it above our activity. As you can also see, we have the ability to set the component visibility on the side here. So for example, we could add criteria that says if this contact is approved to text, show it, and otherwise don't show it. For now, I'm going to remove that so it just appears for everyone in my organization. When I'm happy with how I've configured the component, I can click on Save up at the top here. And then once those changes have been saved, we can hit back and go and visit our new contact record with the SMS capacity. So here, I've been texting Molly some cat photos, and I can say, here's another cat we have up for adoption. paste that photo in there, and we can click on send message, or just press enter to send. You notice the layout and design of this component is very similar to how an SMS app would work on your phone. It's very conversational in nature. We also get these message status callbacks as the message is being sent out. So it gets queued, gets sent out, and then we ultimately see whether it was delivered or not. Once it's delivered, we get this green check mark indicating that it went out successfully, and we can see the preview of the image that was sent as well. It's easy to message directly through a contact or lead record, but if you're managing multiple conversations, you'll want a centralized place to track and respond to messages. For that, you can use the group inbox component to view all the messages assigned to you as a user. These are messages that come for leads, contacts, person accounts, or cases that you own, and you can see them all in one place here. The blue background indicates that we haven't yet read this message, and the white background indicates conversations that we've already read. You can also see that we have the ability to check multiple conversations here, mark them as read, unread, or archive these messages. Lastly, in the SMS inbox, we have the ability to click in and reply to an actual conversation. And that's really useful if we need to navigate around the Salesforce interface, maybe to see our tasks, to gather additional contextual information about the conversation, and then reply to our user. These messaging features make it easy to engage people that are already in our database, but let's say that the SPCA wants to run an out-of-home marketing campaign to increase our community list. So the SPCA starts publicizing our new SMS-enabled phone number through billboards and posters all around our city. Community members who see the billboard can text in to see the cats that are up for adoption that day and chat with a volunteer. It's worth noting that Twilio offers local phone numbers in every U.S. zip code and over 30 countries globally. So you can text with your audience using a locally relevant phone number just about anywhere on Earth. In this Salesforce org, we've linked up a tool called Twilio Studio to a process builder flow. You can see in this process builder flow, we're triggering the flow when a lead gets created from an inbound SMS. In this case, these will be leads that have no contextual information, no first name, no last name, just a phone number associated with them. So we're going to deploy a Twilio Studio bot to gather that information for us so our volunteers don't have to ask these questions up front. We can see that we provided a few parameters to our Twilio Studio action. The first is a from number that'll tell our bot what number to message from. 
Next is the URL of the Studio Flow we want to use. Then we have a mobile number that we want to message out to. Lastly, we can add up to 10 custom parameters that we want to pass to Twilio Studio from Salesforce. If we had more information about this person, we could, for example, pass in their first name, their address, any other kind of account information that we want the bot to have as contextual information. Over on our Twilio console, we can see the Studio Flow that's been set up for our Salesforce instance. Once this Twilio Studio Flow is triggered, we're going to reach out with our first question, asking the person what their first name is. Then we'll ask them their last name. Lastly, we'll give them a confirmation that we'll be in touch shortly. And then in the background, we're going to send this data to Salesforce to create a contact. So let's check out what this looks like in practice. I can start by messaging into the SPCA and say, hi, I'm interested in adopting a cat. In a few moments, we'll receive a message back from our chatbot asking us what our first name is. Hi, thanks for contacting your SPCA. It looks like we don't have a contact attached to this number. Would you mind giving me your first name? It'll then ask for our last name. And finally, give us that confirmation that we'll be in touch with a volunteer shortly. Now, this is where the Salesforce magic happens. The way we've configured this, if we go back into our Salesforce org and refresh the page, we can see that I've been added as a contact in here with my phone number. And even more than that, if we click into the contact, we'll actually get a record of the conversation that happened with the chatbot. So as a volunteer, we can pick up the conversation and start reaching out to our customer immediately. After running the campaign for a few weeks, you might imagine we could have a few new people in Salesforce, and maybe we'd like to reach out to them en masse and send out a bulk SMS. For example, the SPCA might want to give folks an alert that we have six cats that are up for adoption, and we need all hands on deck to come check them out and maybe get them adopted. If we go into our Campaigns tab and open up a campaign, all we need to do is add campaign members. In this case, we have four, but you could add more. To send out a new campaign, we can start by clicking on Send New Message. We can compose our message in this area down here and template in variables from the contact or lead that we're sending to. We can also include a media URL if we want to pass along an image. And then we can schedule this to go out at a future time. For example, if I'm up late burning the midnight oil, getting this campaign out, and want it to go out tomorrow morning at 9 a.m. We can click on Preview and Send. And up here at the top, we'll see our potential deliverability rate for this campaign as we go out. While we're sending out one-to-one -one messages and other campaigns, we're constantly updating Salesforce with the best deliverability statistics we have. And that means that if there are landline numbers, disconnected phone numbers, blocked phone numbers in your campaign, you'll see that reflected in your potential deliverability rate up top. In this case, we can see that one person didn't receive the SMS before, but we might want to try again. Down here, you can see the actual message that we'll be sending out with the value templated in so you can tell what it's going to be. When we click on send message, we'll have confirmation that the SMS broadcast is going out. And if we go back to see our message history here, we'll get a list of our campaigns with their past deliverability rates. We can dive into deliverability further in this tab. Here, we can see that we have one person who's undelivered. It's 25% of our campaign. We can click to remove them. Or we can also go in and view the detailed report so that we can see who specifically is having an issue. In this case, it's our landline number that wasn't being able to be sent to. After you've sent an SMS broadcast, your participants may have some follow-up questions. You can address these into the one-to-one -one messaging component here. All responses to campaigns will come back into the inbox, and your volunteers will be able to handle them on a one-to-one -one basis to answer any questions they might have. Twilio for Salesforce comes with 15 standard reports that work out of the box. And because all activity in Twilio for Salesforce is creating message objects, we can create our own custom reports to capture activity that's happening. Some of the out-of-the-box reports include a message troubleshooting dashboard, leads by owner and message status, campaign members that don't have a mobile number, unread messages by owner, and the number of messages by owner by week. Here, if we click into a report, we can see the standard report layout and we can see the total number of records being sent out by month. So we get an inbound and outbound count 
with the subtotal for the month. Reports like these make it really easy to get insight into how SMS is being used within your organization. So that's a little taste of how you can engage your community, your customers with SMS using Twilio for Salesforce, and getting started only takes a few minutes. One last thing that's really exciting about working with Twilio is that you aren't limited to the features we've built. For example, you might want to extend your communications to other channels that Twilio offers, like maybe adding Facebook Messenger, WhatsApp, or Voice. To accomplish that, we've added a query library to the Twilio for Salesforce package. This allows you to build custom API queries against any of Twilio's APIs from Apex classes. We think that for advanced Salesforce developers, this will allow you to build custom functionality for your organization that will really blow the doors off of what's possible with your communications channels. If you'd like to try sending SMS for yourself, you can start a free trial today. Just click on that green Get It Now button to begin. Thanks for watching.